I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going to return to our Python playlist and we're going to look at pandas data frames and how to do the append operation uh, between two different, panda, uh, two different pandas data frames uh, so that you've got one big list. And uh, the append query basically takes one data frame of certain columns and then it takes another data frame of certain columns and it stacks them on top of each other. Um, and as long as the columns match, you can get one big list and it's a great uh, way to put your list together. So without further ado, let's get to our pandas data frame append operations. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'll start a new uh, pandas file here um, and uh, we're just using the uh, uh, kind of default installation from uh, python.org uh, 3.8.2 and I've got some uh, installed uh, PyODBC and pandas and uh, so we can go ahead and uh, use ODBC to grab some data uh, for two data frames um, one is going to be a candy table and another one's going to be a more candy table and we're going to put more candy at the end of the candy table uh, so that we've got one big list of candy so uh, the first thing I'll do is uh, I'll grab my uh, connection string. Um, this is one that I've used before um, so I can get some data out of, uh, out of uh, Microsoft Access. So we'll grab some data out of a database that we've got here. We've used for all kinds of other stuff. And uh, so that's our connection string. And then we'll, we'll make our connection equal to uh, uh, pio.connect. Um, and then we'll put our connection string in there. That's going to give us a connection to our access database. And, uh, and then we'll make a SQL string. Um, and uh, we'll put that as a, a select star from candy um, so that we can grab all, all of the fields from our candy table in our access database there. And uh, that's going to um, that's going to give us a data set in a data frame that we can use. Uh, so we'll use pandas for that. So we'll say candy is equal to pd.readsql. Then we'll put our SQL string in and our connection. And uh, that's going to return a data frame called candy. And uh, that's what we want to see there. Then we can go ahead and we can print the the uh, top 10 rows, I can't remember how many rows are in this, uh, so we'll use the candy.head and uh, we'll uh, print that off and hit F5 uh, in order to see what kind of output that we get here. Um, so uh, from there it takes a minute, opens the database, uh, grabs the table, and it looks like there's only uh, six records in there. Um, so that's great. So a nice little uh, data set that we can use um, and I know that there's another table called uh, more candy and we'll go ahead and we'll select uh, star from uh, that table as well so we'll say select star from more candy uh, in our access database that we're grabbing data from and we'll use our pandas again to uh, to get another data frame called more candy and we'll say uh, pd.readsql and then sql and a connection string and uh, and then we can print off the uh, the header section of, of candy as well um, which I don't think there's very many records in there so that's going to be fine so we can go on and hit f5 on that one and that gives us our two list there so you can see we've had uh, the more candy, which has three rows in it, in addition to the uh, six rows that are in our candy table. And uh, you can see we're printing off both of those, and, uh, and that's going to um, give us both of our target tables that we want to put together. So the next thing for us to do is just to uh, say that our candy table is equal to uh, candy.append. Um, uh, and we'll put more candy in there as our append and we'll just do it straight up with no, no additional arguments in there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just print uh, that whole table 
um, so that we can see all of the items in there. And uh, so if I hit F5 there, um, I can see now I've got uh, at the bottom there, and you can see that uh, it printed the, um, the entire table. You can see that the index has got 0, 1, 2, 3, and it's got also 0, 1, 2, 3 from the second table. And, uh, and that's making one, uh, one table out of the two tables above it. And uh, now the, the index uh, could be a problem for some situations because you don't want to have a duplicate index. And so what you can do is you can say ignore uh, index and then you can set that to true. And, uh, and, and uh, true, I need a capital on there. And then uh, you can hit F5 there. And, um, and then print that and see how that goes. And uh, oh, I got an error. Oh, it looks, looks like I, I said ingor instead of uh, ignore. So there we go, we'll type that in there. And uh, we'll say ignore index. And then you can see at the bottom again, um, you can see now there's, there's a unique index because we ignored the index uh, that was coming in off of both of those tables and so we've got uh, a nice index so I'm gonna go ahead and comment out the first um, two prints uh, where we got the first two tables and I'll hit F5 again just so that we can see our output um, just as we want to see it here and as you can see the ignore index worked great for um, taking our two tables and putting them together but you will notice that uh, the, there is uh, a duplicate record because uh, this dark chocolate did exist in both uh, tables and you can decide how you'd like to deal with that um, in, in your analysis. But be aware that you might actually put, um, you know, if there is a duplicate record, you might put one in. So you might want to um, take care of that in your other coding. Uh, we can do things like verify integrity and if I say true, um, it's going to give me an error. So this is what I wanted to see because you can see um, there's the first three, the one, two, three, or zero, one, two. Um, those existed in both tables. And if we say make sure the integrity uh, or verify integrity, integrity is true, then it's going to throw an error there. Uh, but if we say false, which is the default, then it will allow us to put, um, you know, uh, duplicate index entries in there. Now uh, moving on, I will say that you should probably go back and after you've uh, done your your reads and everything make sure to throw in a, a connection.close uh, as that'll uh, help to keep your connections clear. And that is how you do the append operation on pandas data frames. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to append two data frames together. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, click the bell when you see the bell. And uh, put any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.